Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How are we doing this morning? It is a beautiful fall morning, isn't it? Oh my it? goodness, yeah. I can see the beautiful trees outside the window. Aren't we lucky to live where we live? This is Chris and Kyle from my girlfriend's quilt shop in Logan, Utah. And we are so happy that you joined us this morning as we talk to you about our brand new block for the blo uh, block of the month, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, for October. And so I've got Kyle here. She is our... <laughs> She is our resident expert. 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 That's I can right. do it. I can do it. <laughs> exactly. And Kyle, her theory is if she can do it, anyone can. Right? You got it. You got it easy. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a pro at this. And so we are so happy to uh, be able to debut our brand new block. Again, this is our girlfriend's mystery block of the month that we started last month. And every month we will showcase a different block. We're going to tell you a little story about the block that relates to something about one of your girlfriends, and we're going to share um, some tips on how to do it. So, this month we are doing da -da -da -da, da -da -da. the house, house block. Isn't that cute? These are the two different colorways. Yeah, tell us about them. Well, my the favorite <laughs> is the brights, but. Uh -huh. I love how she chose for the darks, but yeah. I, I am a brights girl, <laughs> yep. and um, so they asked me to tell what the house meant to me, uh, the house block, and um, I thought about it, and I had this great big thing, how I have loving family and all this, my house was perfect, but yeah. <laughs> house was perfect? Perfect, Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, okay. Yeah, that would have been a lie, and everyone <laughs> would know that, that I was telling a lie, and so then I thought about it, and I thought, you know... It's, it's a house until it becomes a home. Oh my gosh, I better not cry. Oh, oh my goodness. It's, it's a house and it's four walls until the people inside it make a home. And my house does not have a picket fence, but we love each other. And okay. my kids are still how, near me. How many kids do you have? I have three kids, two boys and a girl. And grandchildren? And I have four awesome grandchildren. They're adorable. They are. They're, mm -hmm. And... We all live still here in Utah, in which I'm shocked, but wow. I'm so lucky. Yes, you yes. are. Not yes. a lot of people can say that they no. live so close by their kids no. still. And they kind of like me sometimes. <laughs> my kids, my grandkids love me, but yes. my kids <laughs> like me sometimes. <laughs> I have witnessed firsthand how much those kids love her. So <laughs> it is just, she is the best grandma ever. Um, so we have this house block that hopefully will remind you of growing up in your home and as you sew this we want you to think about those feelings that something like Kyle just shared mm -hmm. about what the house represents to you and we'd love to hear your story because we believe that every block does have a story so share your stories with us on social media and make sure and tag us for um, the mystery block of the month yeah yeah and we're we also have another hashtag every uh. Every block has a story. <laughs> I'm terrible. There you go. I'm That's terrible. okay. Every block has a story. See, it's right there on the directions. So there you go. <laughs> I don't miss a thing. Oh, uh, you know, we try. <laughs> so I've got my computer here too. If you have any questions along the way, we can see, you know, what questions you might have and be able to answer them live for you. So a quick shout out to Becky, Christy, Michelle, and Dana for joining us this morning. <laughs> Good, good, good Monday morning to you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the house block. And my friends, don't be nervous. This is called <gasps> paper PC. Paper PC. Paper it, PC. It's not bad once you get started. And it's hopefully really not. with Chris's help, <laughs> we will be able to explain it. Paper PC used to cause me highs. I, I just had a hard time figuring out you know, sequence and, and where was I putting my fabric and uh, according to the paper. And now it is so much fun. Nothing scares me when it comes to paper PC now. Do you know why I can do this? Is because like I've done some of the Kimber Bells mm. and they've been in the hoop and so they're not like a giant quilt. Right. I finished it and I went, oh, yeah. I get it. And everything's absolutely perfect. It's so precise. You're going to absolutely love this technique. So. What we want to first tell you is let's go ahead and show them what their pattern is that they're going to receive. 
Oh, you're gonna the use that to and the kit. Let's see, we'll grab that. Okay, so all the fabric is in there. And this is all the instructions because you don't need more. Uh, four parts to this chimney, so, roof, doorway, windows. Yeah. So when you get this, um, when you pick up your kit, you're going to actually cut these apart, right, Kyle? Right. I cut them down. I don't want to work with the whole sheet of paper. So yeah, I it's too down. much. It's too much. And that's why we want you to cut them down into four sections, okay? All right. So we're going to show you how to do this on section A. Now, the first thing you want to remember is that we're going to go in chronological order. So A1 to A2, A3, A4, A5. And every section has its own numbering. Mm -hmm. And you, as long as you go in that sequence, you're gonna be just fine. Yeah, because okay. this, this is all A. Yeah. You'll completely sew that, then mm -hmm. B, completely sew that, C, and D, and then you'll attach them. Exactly, you attach them after they're all sewn together. So, what is the very most important thing we have to remember when we put together our first Step for the paper piecing. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Okay. Okay, you always begin with number one, your first um, piece of fabric, and you follow, follow in sequence. Do not do A to three or something like that. You're doing A1 to A2, and then you'll sew A3. So that's very important, and also you need to adjust your stitch length. Mm -hmm. And you adjust mm -hmm. it down to about uh, 1.5, 1.8. Yeah. But that is because you want it to perforate, is that the word? Mm -hmm. Your um, the paper. Paper. Mm -hmm. paper, so it's easier to get it off exactly. when you're done. Exactly. And so as we get ready to set this up, the first thing we need to do is take our the sky piece, because that is A1, tells you all of that in the directions. And we're going to make sure Okay, we have uh, the printed side and then the non-printed side. We're actually going to sew on the non-printed side. We're going to put our fabric there and when we turn it around to the printed side, we're going to sew it right there. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So, and this, this all comes in one length, so you're going to cut it up in, into three pieces. Yeah, as long as the pieces are larger mm -hmm. than the block, you're good. You just pay attention because there's two pieces of the blue, a wider and a narrower one. And for this part, you want the narrower one, the three inch wide. And then there's a six inch wide. So just read the instructions. It tells you in the instructions. Okay. So I wonder, I think we may have gone off. Let me, let, we're going to stop the video for a second and we'll get started right back again. Okay. It went off. I think so. Okay, I won't really funky dance <laughs> just in case. <laughs> no, actually, I think we're still good. <laughs> I had to check on that, but for some reason on my computer, it's showing that we're stalled, so I'm just going to refresh this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take that sky block, and we're going to place it over A1. Now, we have the printed side here. We're going to put it on the back side of it, okay? And the most important thing to remember is that your fabric needs to be right side up on, on the first just one. Just the first one. Just the first one. Only one. <laughs> exactly. And how are we going to make sure we do that, Kyle? Well, we're going we're gonna to take a glue stick, it's just a fabric temporary adhesive, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put it on the back of my pattern, just a little bit, you don't need a ton, yep. and then I'm just going to, what I did is I held it up so I could see in the light, and mm -hmm. I'm sure I've covered it all, and I've given myself enough <laughs> She has quarter. lots of room there. <laughs> uh -huh. I made sure, I don't want to screw this up, yep. but I have lots of room, so I have a quarter inch seam over here. Exactly. Where I'm gonna, so yeah, if you will make sure that the fabric is facing right side up so that you see it, but again, it's on the back side of your printable, okay? Because we have to see where our lines are in order to sew, right? So that makes sense, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, want to see the line. So we're going to make sure that that's covered there. Now, here's a little tip for you. Between each of the sections is... Um, our lines, right, that break up the sections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold back on that line 
Okay. And I'm going to take, this is a great little tool called the add a quarter ruler. Okay. It was awesome. Yeah. Because it doesn't it. move all over once you get that set exactly. on that paper. You know what it does? I, it's probably hard to tell right here, but it has a little lip, like an edge that's going to just hook right onto the paper. So right here, you can see that it doesn't even, it doesn't even move. Right. Well, you'll have a perfect quarter inch. <laughs> hey, you'll have a perfect quarter inch. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, maybe. Yeah. I've never used this one. Oh, you have it? There we go. Wow. Fancy. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I just trimmed that up. Okay. And now I have because that we have it glued, quarter inch. Because we have it glued, it won't move. Nope. Exactly. So... We're ready to sew on our second piece, A2, which is? The chimney. Okay. And it tells you back here, the chimney, there's one for A4, A2, and then there's other pieces to the A. All of your A pieces are right here. So as you're going along, you could see, oh, A1 is red, or A, A2, sorry, A2, A2 mm -hmm. is red, and then, um, you can kind of see by the picture that your next one will be blue because that's the sky again. And then you'll go back and do a second chimney, which will be A1. Yep, exactly. Okay, fabric. so now, just like we do with regular sewing, we need to put right sides together, correct? Right, so yeah. this is not like the first piece. No, we're going to make sure that we put right sides together on the back. And you know that's giving you a quarter inch seam. Because we, we use this little guy right mm -hmm. now if you don't have one of these just make sure and get out a ruler and and measure your quarter inch but this sure makes oh it oh my handy. gosh it was awesome <laughs> okay and now we're ready to sew so in order to sew we need to turn it with the printed side right side up so we know exactly where to sew on and just like kyle mentioned before we need to uh, shorten our stitch line exactly so I'm going to make and, sure and do that. And when you start stitching, you're going to go past the lines. You want to you want to be just, it said, I think, oh, I can't remember how much she said. You can do about a half an inch past, yeah. or you could even just do like um, a, a reinforcement stitch, mm -hmm. you know, go a couple of threads beyond the line. It's really up to you. So just make sure that you go a little bit past the line do a reinforcement stitch mm -hmm. here, you're going to be good to go. But you definitely want to go beyond the line. Yes. So I'm going to do a reinforcement stitch there. I'm going to sew straight on the line. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. It did come unplugged. <laughs> you never let him see a sweat, right? No, no. And, <laughs> and she I'm went beyond the line yep. when she finished up. All right. And now I'm going to pull this up. And out of here. Kind of funky We're having a yeah. sewing machine way yeah. that far. Don't you sew like that normally? Three feet away from you. Now, <gasps> voila, first scene. Yay! And so you can just finger press that. You could press it with an iron if you wanted to, but I'm just going to finger press it because it's so much easier and faster. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we have A1 and A2. And if I hold it up to the light, I can see that both of those are covered, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yeah. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. So now remember what I said before, when we go to our next line, let's get into the habit of folding back on itself. And that way we're going to make sure we have that perfect quarter inch. Right on the line. So. Here we go. On the printed line. Yep, right on the printed line. You know what another helpful idea is, is if you have like a little piece of cardstock, um, I don't have one right here, but I'm gonna pretend I have one. I'm gonna make this a little piece of cardstock. Sometimes you'll find that to be easy too, mm -hmm. to be able to put right on the line and then fold on top of itself. That's true. Okay, I use because it gives itself too. a barrier. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take my add a quarter ruler and again, I'm just going to butt it right up against that edge and cut. Wow. Okay. Yay. You did and it. And now, no, I feel like <laughs> dancing or something. You <laughs> should. And then I'm ready to add on my third piece. So I'm going to do my blue piece. Blue and piece because it tells me that it's uh, A3. So I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to look through here and use for A3, it's under blue. 
So just look for your numbering. Yep, exactly. So there it is. You know it's not red. It'll be under the blue. So you're going to again put right sides together up against that quarter inch line. And again, remembering that we're going to flip this over. Now here's another thing. If you are having trouble with holding it and trying to flip it over, you can put a pin in there as well. You know, just put a, a little pin to help hold its place. Get it far away enough <laughs> from the don't scene. run over it. You don't want to run over it. But sometimes that will help. You may need it, you may not need it. It's really up to how confident you feel and be able, able to switch this over. So I'm going to turn this over. Again, I am go sewing from the printed, printed side. side. Yep. And like Kyle said, we're going to make sure that we go a little bit. Um, She's just go. lucky I'm here to help her. <laughs> Uh -huh. I totally am. And we're going to, oh, I have my thing locked there. Okay, and I'm going to She's stitch. stitching a little bit over the line. She tacked it down. I put it on slow. There we go. You know, I bought my sister a machine a couple months ago for uh -huh. her birthday. Yeah. And she had to sew on another machine the other day, and she said, I know why I love the machine. You, made me, you got me. And she said, because she can adjust the speed, because mm -hmm. she's not a confident sewer yeah. yet, seems for whatever, difference. Yeah. she loved it, and that it cuts the thread. I know, it's wonderful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so here we go. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to pull it over. Let's do this one more time, just to make sure everyone has got it. We are going to pull flip it over. We're going to fold it back on the line, so if you need like a little piece of cardstock or something to help you find that line, you can do that. Right on the line. Fold it there. Going to put our add a quarter. Voila. This is going to be a piece of cake for you. I'm feeling confident already. Yay. <laughs> I just don't like to start them, but I can. <laughs> I did. Yes, you did. You did. And then we're going to put right sides together, sew it. Flip it, and pretty soon you're going to have a completed uh, A section. section. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have completed that, you will cut a uh, quarter inch. Quarter inch. Around. Leave a seam allowance. Make sure you do that. Don't forget that. Because you are sewing on the mm -hmm. lines. And there is, there is a seam allowance. You can see mm -hmm. it's going to show a little bit bigger here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should get a marker. But you'll see it when you yes. when you have the pattern. There is a line going all the way out around outside to make sure you remember that's where you cut so that you and leave that corner. Don't cut seam that allowance. right at the very beginning. Notice I left uh, quite a bit of paper between it, but I don't don't cut on that quarter inch seam yet. Okay, I have to laugh because Amelia <laughs> says that my one-year-old is enthralled. Mommy isn't the only one who quilts. <laughs> yes! Oh, <got> him. <laughs> All right for the one-year-old. See? Uh, there we go. With us. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So are there any other questions or things we can answer out there? Uh, Jamie says hello from Arizona. Hello, warm, Jamie. Warm. Thank you. Oh, nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> what are we complaining about yet, I, though? We, we, we don't. It's still really you nice. You still see beautiful trees mm -hmm. out there. And even with all the trees so gone, when I drove soon. to Logan yesterday, oh. it was beautiful. Pretty even though it was soon. kind of brown and snow <laughs> at the tops. Mm -hmm. We're pretty darn lucky. It's, it's beautiful. Life isn't is it? good. Yep. Life is good. All right, so I'm not seeing any other questions, but of course, if there's anything we can help you with, let us know. We're more than happy to help. Come on into the shop and let us help you. If you're not near us, then we'd love to help you um, online. You know, just go ahead and ask your questions. We'll be sure to answer them. And really, anyone and in the shop can help them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because if I can learn it, <laughs> They you can. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So again, thank you for joining us. Um, here are the blocks that you're going to be making. Once again, this is your uh, more trendy fabrics. This is your more traditional. You make my heart happy. Yes, exactly. I can't wait to see it all come together. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see your blocks when you um, share them on social media. 
Okay, right hashtags. there. Hashtags. Hashtags. My girlfriend's called shop, and every block has a story. All right, my friends. We'll see you later. See you again. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'm going to go around it, and I'm going to turn off the, okay, <laughs> the good. thing. So go ahead and do your little dance and number right there. Okay. <laughs> Pokey, pokey. <laughs>